Welcome. This is Lisa Holder, Communications Officer for the City of Sanford. This is our new episode that we have with our special guest, Kim Parmalee of the Senior Center. Kim Parmalee is the Senior Center Supervisor. How are you today, Kim? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Wonderful. So Kim Parmalee is part of the Parks and Recreation Department. Kim has worked for the city of Sanford for 30 years. Yes. This October. Yes. Correct? All right. 19 years with the Sanford Senior Center and 11 years in the utilities department. That's pretty awesome. Really. And for those listeners out there, uh, just the part most importantly about this episode is the fact that we want to highlight that Sanford has a senior center. It's a growing demographic and we have tons of activities for the seniors, and Kim will be here right now to share with us some of the really awesome programming that the City of Sanford Senior Center offers. So, Kim, where is our Senior Center located? Let's start with that. Well, I was going to give you a little bit of history on the building. It's located at 401 East Seminole Boulevard, and we're one block east of the marina right on the lakefront. All right. And we are actually connected to the Sanford Civic Center, which is that beautiful dome building down on the lakefront, which is handles rentals of different facilities. We're the wing that's hooked to the back of the Civic Center. Okay, so if you were to park where? In the parking lot that's the parking adjacent? Lot, well, the parking lot is actually on the first street side. So if you know where the post office is, we are the parking lot right across the street from the post office on the corner of First Street and Sanford Avenue. All right, and that's where the entry to the senior center is. Correct, correct, because mm-hmm. it's connected to this big civic center building. Well, our and legal address is Seminole Boulevard, but the parking lot is actually on the first street side, which is the you know better way to get into the building. Okay, so now that everybody knows how to get there and where you're located, would you like to please share with us some of the great, the, like you said, the history of the building? Well, and, it originally um, was part of the civic center construction in 1958 and was a um, youth recreation center where they held dances and youth events. In fact, we have seniors that come in now that used to come there when it was a youth facility, and they would come to the dances on the Friday nights. How so that's, fun. that's really awesome. But in 1989, it was converted and um, became a senior center. So right. at that time, there was only one other senior center in the county, and now there's only three, and we're one of the three. So that's pretty amazing. Great. And so I understand that there is a wide array of programming for seniors. Now let's let's categorize what is a senior citizen. Well, it it can take on a negative kind of connotation. I mean, a lot of people don't think of themselves as seniors. We actually um, are open to anyone over 50. Okay. Um, so if you're over 50 and want to come in, you're more than welcome. We have people of 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. We have quite a few Wonderful. 90-year-olds still coming and vibrant and exercising and doing line dancing and all of sure. that. So, yeah. So. It's about keeping your, yourself active, your mind active, really, I believe. And, and what do they say? The 50s, the new 40 today. And so you can go well, on and a, on with that, It's right? a combination of things. It's um, the social aspect as well. Um, you have a lot of people that perhaps are widows or widowers that, you know, you don't want them staying home by themselves. You want that socialization. So our recreation center, you come and go as you see an activity you like. You can use the computers, you can watch TV, you can come to a movie, you can come in and play billiards, you can be involved in the exercise classes, and um, a lot of fellowship, which we, you know, which is great too, so we try to encourage that. Now, what are the hours of the We're here Monday through Friday, um, 8 to 4. We do have a class on Tuesday evenings, which is like an advanced country and western line dancing class, but that's the only evening um, situation you would have. Although, I shouldn't say that because we recently um, renovated all of the shuffleboard courts. And there is a shuffleboard group that meets the third Friday of the month. And they start at 630. And And I believe you can find that information on Facebook if you search Sanford Shuffleboard. You can. I think it's Sanford Shuffle. And Dan Ping is really involved in that. And I think there's a minimal, like, dollar or $2 to play. And they average about 30 people. 
Um, so, which is really awesome. What a fun retro yeah. game that's coming back, exactly. right? Exactly. And if you decide you want to play during the day, which is perfectly fine, we have all of the equipment. Just come into the senior center um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, and we'll unlock the shuffleboard courts for you and you can play. So there's no cost no. to that Mm-mm. through the senior center. Yeah. Okay. That sounds, that's a great opportunity. Get some exercise, play a fun game. And I, it's right there in front of the waterfront, correct? Can you actually see or semi-see? You can. The- if you pull into the parking lot, um, you'll be able to see a little white building, which is actually the clubhouse for the old shuffleboard club and tourist group that used to be in there. Now we use it for small events, and also we keep table tennis tables set up in there. So they play table tennis in there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ping pong, right? Ping pong. Another name for, okay. And um, so you have a lot of these uh, these other events. You said mo- movies, mahjong, there's computers, yoga classes. So how do we get the information out? How can people find out? more about this what's the best way to connect uh well, somebody we, who may be interested with the Sanford senior center well we like for people to come down obviously and take a tour we have a facebook page which you help us well you actually have it on the city's facebook page we have a website which also has the monthly calendar on it as well as any other things we're doing with flyers for different lunch and learns or when we had the tax help in there. Okay. And um, those are the two main ways. But we like for people to come down and just check us out, walk through the building, talk to the staff, talk to the people that come in there. Sure. And just see what we are so right. people don't automatically say, oh, you know, there's a bunch of old people and I'm not an old person. And that's the <laughs> biggest surprise we get from a lot of people right. is when they start coming down, they're like, wow, I, you know, where have you been? And I'm like, well, we're here. You just need to come down. So. Right. And that's what the purpose of this podcast is to share information right. about the city's assets and amenities. And when you mentioned staff, how many people are there with you working at the senior center? Well, we have um, Amber, who is our administrative assistant, and we also have Al James, who is the supervisor of the Civic Center and the Cultural Arts Center and what used to be um, the old Chamber of Commerce building, which we're now going to be renovating and have as a rental facility. And then we have Jeff and Travis. Jeff is going to be retiring, and he's leaving in November. He's been here, I think, 37 years. Unbelievable. And then Travis has been here, I think, 26. Al's been here 26. So we all... Um, and we're getting Amber caught up, you know, she'll be in right. a couple of years. But um, so there's the five of us and we're, um, it's one unit. I yeah. mean, even though Travis may work in the Civic Center, he also was part of the Senior Center. And mm-hmm. then, of course, because we're part of the Recreation Department, we all help each other where we need to um, for different events and stuff. So Great. And do you have to be a Sanford resident? To you do not. Okay. You do not. We do charge residency fees. We do have small minimal fees. If you're going to play bingo, it's 50 cents a card. If you want to be involved in the exercise program, we do that in conjunction with Central Florida Regional Hospital. They pay the instructor. We provide the space. So in that regard, you would have to pay $20 a year Mm -hmm. to the hospital to become a member of H2U. Okay. And that way you can get the exercise class for free, the yoga class for free, Plus, there's a lot of benefit to that as far as going to the hospital. They have speakers there and different programs there. So this is for anybody listening out there that's over 50 years old. We're not talking about nothing wrong with a 75, 85, 95-year-old person, but there are a lot of people in the community that may not realize that this is open to to younger seniors, so to speak. Um, great. And so I also understand that there's this craze that's come across um, America and Sanford lately called pickleball. It's the sport of pickleball. Can you share with our listeners pickle, some, some of the aspects of pickleball, what it is, and your involvement well, with that? Well, um, pickleball, um, the description of it is um, it's played on a modified tennis court. It was invented in the 1960s as a childhood pastime, and it has grown exponentially. It's amazing. Basically, if you know what a wiffle ball looks like, that is the ball that we use, and the paddle is similar to a table tennis paddle. We play on a tennis court with modified lines. The courts are a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. The rules can be a little crazy. Once you get past the rules, you're fine. 
a lot of people that used to play tennis and racquetball that have a lot of shoulder injuries, they can't do a lot of overhead shots and things like that, love pickleball because you're just as involved, you're just as athletic, but it's a little bit easier on your shoulders. Right. So that's your demographic you're speaking to. Well, somewhat. actually, the demographic is changing. Is it? Um, we are seeing, of course, seniors. Um, we are seeing people in their 20s and 30s. In fact, the pro who's out there this week, they've rented our facilities. Um, they're in their 30s. And I understand from uh, the Winter Garden gentleman who runs the pickleball courts there is they're trying to get with um, the schools mm-hmm. and start youth programs um, with children as well to get them involved in the pickleball and the athletics and the sports and all sure. that. Sure. It's so important to keep moving, and it sounds like a lot of fun and not as – intense as playing a tennis game well i think it's just as it's intense but if you actually went on a youtube site and looked at it Mm -hmm. it's a lot more of a close game like table tennis where it's not as much running yeah Um, sure but because the demand was so high we did some research and we found out we were able to convert um, some of our Groveview tennis courts and in october we opened up the first um, dedicated pickleball courts in seminole county so we have six courts out there now, which is awesome. And Groveview Park, Kim, is... It is um, off of Lake Mary Boulevard. It's in the Groveview subdivision. You actually can see it from Old Lake Mary Road. Um, if you're going past the railroad tracks, you can see them on the opposite side of the railroad tracks. All right. And you could you could easily search it on our website to Oh, find absolutely. The well, there's a map on there and the hours. They play six days a week. Um, uh, they play two evenings, Tuesdays and Thursdays. But what's exciting is right now, um, there's a group out there called Level Up Pickleball, and it's a clinic for people that, and they, it's like tennis, you have different skill levels. And uh, Pickleball Magazine, which is a national um, subscription, um, hires these professionals to come, and they rented our course, which is amazing. So they've had two, three-day clinics out there, and they've had people there from Virginia, with um, Washington, Arizona, oh. that came to Sanford specifically for this clinic. So it's really exciting. So that is yeah. nationally known pickleball mm-hmm. in Sanford, Florida. Yep. How awesome is that? And in addition to athletic types of services, what about some new activities that are coming up in the next few months with the East Coast Polytechnic Institute? We're working with the school and the nursing students to give them some exposure to the seniors to interact and have some of their clinicals. So they're going to be at the Senior Center on Tuesdays, um, starting in May, from 8 to 4. And they'll be there to do um, body mass index, to talk about height and weight, to take blood pressures, to talk about nutrition. So it's a good thing for the students. Um, It helps them. Mm -hmm. With their studies, it helps them interact with seniors. A lot of them are going to be younger people that maybe don't have grandparents that they can interact with. It helps the seniors um, get some information that they might need and don't want to go to the doctor and ask them about. So it's it's a good partnership and it's new. So we're hoping that'll you know turn into something more. All right, and so they'll be they'll come to the senior center and and get this added benefit, Mm -hmm. correct? Exactly, and and that's a, a wonderful partnership that we are doing in the community. And also, your seniors take some day trips. Tell us about that. We are going to start day trips in June. And the first one we're hoping to do is out to Titusville. And there is the Astronaut Hall of Fame. And then it's a mile from Dixie Crossroads. So if anybody has ever been to Dixie Crossroads and had rock shrimp, (laughs) you know what we're talking about. We're going to go to Lou Gardens. We're going to go to the Stetson Mansion in DeLand. Um, We hope to perhaps go to St. Augustine. Just small day trips, um, just to get out of the house, nothing too expensive. And by going in a van and different things like that for people that don't want to drive that distance. Sure. Um, And then we try to do beach trips. Um, We go actually to New Smyrna Beach, and we go to Chase's on the Beach, and we park right at the restaurant. You can eat there. You can hang out in the pool. You can play volleyball if you want. You can walk down to the beach, and then, you know, we head back a couple hours later. And so... For people that are not connected or involved right now and they're listening to the podcast for the first time and they're hearing all of these wonderful opportunities, so how would they get involved with the day trips? So they come down, like you said, to the Senior Center. 
um, talk to you, Kim, or your staff, Amber, and then is are you signing up people now? Is there a limited amount of people that you take? Is there any well, criteria? We are in the infancy stage of it right now. Um, the first one, we are going to probably be using a bus, so we're going to have to have a minimum of 25 people. Okay. Depending on the response from that, we may just use a um, 12-passenger, 15-passenger van instead. All right. So it's an ongoing um you know, decision process on exactly yes. when to go because you don't want to go. You want to go to an indoor, indoor facility during the summer, right? But definitely give us a call. Um, we're at four zero seven six eight eight five one two nine, or check the website um, if you have a suggestion of a day trip that you think that the seniors might be interested in. Or we always have people wanting to know about Canasta or Euchre. Our dominoes. I mean, if you've got a group and you want a place to play, we'll find a table for you. So Great. And that number again is 407-688-5129. And Kim, for our senior population that are not um, sectavi quite as as great as they would like to be, phone call would be is simply the, a great way to learn about everything, sign up for information. That kind of phone thing. calls. We love to have your phone calls. Um, it's a lot easier to answer somebody's questions and emailing back and forth. Right. Um, if you've got 20 minutes, come down and yeah. let us give you a tour of the building, and that'll give you a better idea. And then you might meet some people and not be quite – a lot right. of people are um, uncertain about new places and things like that, and we want you to feel at ease. Yes. So. And for our listeners that have an older person that they are that they know a neighbor a friend who who really doesn't have so much activity in their life, please share this information with them. Uh, have them listen to the podcast. Kim? The, the one thing that we do need to stress is we are a rec facility for independent seniors. Unfortunately, we are not equipped as an adult daycare center. So we, um, you know, we don't want anybody coming that would have special needs and medical issues that we aren't equipped to handle. Uh, we, unfortunately, right now we don't have transportation, so, you know, you'd have to be responsible for that. But you can get a hold of Access Links and, um, you know, set up something with them. They always have a transportation you can set up to go to your doctors. Something else that we have there, too, is we have information on all of that kind of thing stuff okay. on insurance companies we have shine that comes in once a month and talks about insurance um, we have community service phone numbers we have all of that kind of information there as well so if you have a question we can give you phone numbers of people that can help you with different senior issues great so. you're a great resource for our yes. senior population mm -hmm. and you mentioned aarp and tax preparation they also do the drive alive safe drivers program yes we had that yesterday and basically you come in you watch a video you take a test and then it gives you um, a certificate towards, I think, $10 off of your um, auto insurance. All right. So, yeah. That's great for anybody who wants to save dollars. Tell us about the Golden Age Games. Oh, my baby. <laughs> the Golden Age Games, uh, we're in our 45th year. And I'm proud to say we are the nation's oldest senior games. Yay! That was started at the Chamber of Commerce, which we, um, you know, we're involved with. We have activities from archery, basketball shooting, bowling, golf, pickleball, swimming, table tennis, tennis, track and field, and this year we're going to add back shuffleboard and billiards. We're in November, okay. and we do it in age categories. There's nine age categories, 50 to 54, 55 to 59, etc. And the top five in each age group advances to the state games, and then biannually, you can advance to the national games. So if you want to see some, these aren't weekenders. These are people <laughs> that, uh, that know their stuff. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And these folks are pretty amazing. All right. Well, this is an incredible amount of information for our seniors in Sanford. If you are listening, please share this information to those folks that you know that are over 50. I mean, that doesn't seem like, you know, a, a senior, but in the, this day and age, that is the, the starting age of that. But is there anything else, Kim, that you'd like to share with our listeners about our wonderful Senior Center? Just if you are curious, you know, give us a call. I know we gave you a lot of information today. If you only got one little snippet of a word, but you want more information on it, please 
you know, give us a call and, and we'll be happy to go over it with you. Surely. And it is, uh, the Senior Center is located very, within walking distance of our downtown restaurants and shops. If you're in, if you're in town and you're having lunch with a friend and then you'd like to just come on in and say hello to Kim and her staff at the Senior Center, please do. It's, it's very, everything is in walking distance. Yes, it is. To, to, um, to the Senior Center right here in downtown Sanford. And then you could mosey on down to the lakefront and uh, sit on a swinging bench and view our beautiful waterfront at the same time, all in one day. Well, Kim, anything besides come on down? A phone number again? 407-688-5129. All right. And your email is kim.parmalee. It's P-A-R-M-E-L-E-E at Sanford, F-L, like Florida, dot G-O-V, like government. All right. Well, there you have it, listeners. Kim Parmalee, the supervisor at Sanford Senior Center. Thank you so much for being on our show today, Kim. We really appreciate you being here. And there you'll have it. The latest episode of Sanford Says. Don't forget, you can find us on the city website, sanfordfl.gov forward slash podcast, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud. And we're announcing today we have just been um, available on iHeartRadio as well. So we're out there, folks. Share this podcast with your friends. Thank you again. See you next time. (laughs) 